Hi, Brian Strom here, and if you're interested in scientific advances in electric power production, then you need to know about my campaign called Generator Redesign. This investigation and following redesign takes a deep look at the history of advances in induction-related phenomena and the most basic and fully researched principles with very hard references. Let's jump right in with Lenz's Law. This law is used by engineers to design AC and DC generators. The long-standing deduction from Lenz's Law is that a large amount of mechanical energy is required to produce electricity. In fact, the mathematical formulas that equate mechanical energy to electric energy stem directly from this law and phenomena. If this law could be broken or engineered around, then energy could be produced much easier and cheaper than ever before, thus opening important doors to understanding and engineering the greater universe. Advances will only come from increasing the level of detail of our understanding of the physics. A major conclusion from this presentation is that there are several geometric interactions within inductive particle dynamics that clearly violate the Newtonian laws of physics. It has been known for many decades that quantum physics violates Newton's laws and now it must be recognized that certain EM interactions violate these laws too. The force of resistance that is the backbone of Lenz's law is called back EMF and sometimes called hysteresis. Let's take a detailed look at the real facts and working principles of this force. Lenz described the production of voltage and subsequent current along a length of wire moving through a magnetic field. When current flows down the wire, a second magnetic field is produced by that current and remember that magnetic fields are only created by moving charges and electric current. That secondary magnetic field interacts with the first and primary magnetic field and a force results between those two magnetic fields that is opposite to the motion of the wire. Thus a large force is required to maintain a current flow in the wire. 